Rush climate, vegetation, wildlife, resources, industry, transport, trade and people. Most part of this region has a continental type of climate. It is extremely cold in winter and warm to very hot in summer. Verkoyangs, located in the northeast Siberia, is known as the cold pole of the earth. Forests here occupy almost one-third of the entire area. The birch, fir and other trees provide good timber, wood pulp, turpentine oil and raisin. The oak and other deciduous trees occur along with coniferous trees at higher altitudes. Lichens and mosses grow along the Arctic coast. Reindeer, Arctic hare, fox, bear, wolf, lynx, deer, walrus, mink, otter, pigs, horses, camels, donkeys and sheep are the important animals found here. The Laps and Samoyeds rear reindeers for pulling sledges as well as to obtain their meat. Only 10% of the area is suitable for agriculture. Machinery is used to cultivate large farms in this region. These large collective agricultural fields are known as kolkhozes. The main crops of this region are rye, barley, oats, potato, sugar beet, cotton, millet, maize and rice. Tea is grown on the slopes of the Caucasus Mountains. Grapevine, citrus fruits, olive and tobacco are grown along the coast of the Black Sea. Coal is mined in the Donetsk Basin of Ukraine the Kuznets Basin of West Siberia, the Karaganda Field in Kazakhstan, the Tula near Moscow and many other places in the Ural Mountains. Petroleum and natural gas are found in the areas of Georgia and at Azerbaijan at the foot of the Caucasus Mountains. This region ranks second after South Africa in terms of extraction of gold. Nickel, Platinum, Uranium, Copper, Zinc and many other metals are found in this region. Iron and steel, metallurgical and engineering industries are the major industries found here. Some of the other industries found in this region are textiles, aircraft and shipping. The railway is the most important mode of transport in this region. The Trans-Siberian Railway runs across a massive length of more than 9,764 kilometers, is the longest railway line in the world and is located in this region. It links St. Petersburg with Vladivostok across southern Siberia. Moscow is a major center for roadways railways as well as airways. The exports of this region include a wide range of machinery, engineering goods, textiles, wood pulp, paper, timber, fur, iron ore, coal, petroleum, vehicles, aircrafts, etc. The exports go to countries like Poland, Hungary, Bulgaria, Romania, Mongolia, Cuba and India. The imports of this region include industrial raw materials like cotton, wool, copper, rubber, etc. Russian is the main language spoken here. Ukrainians, Belarusians, Uzbeks, Georgians, Slavs, Tatars, Kazakhs, Turks, Mongols and people belonging to other sects also live here. 
A majority of the people here are Christians, while the people of Central Asia and Caucasus regions follow Islam. The livelihood of the people mainly comes from cutting down trees for their timber and hunting animals like mink and sable for their fur. Fishing in the Black Sea, Caspian Sea, Baltic Sea, Arctic Ocean and Pacific Ocean is another major occupation of the people here. The Gorky Park, Pushkin Museum, Kremlin Palace in Moscow, Sadhavimya Paragana Valley in Tajikistan and many other regions attract tourists. The Caucasus Mountains are famous for mountaineering and skating. Lake Baikal is famous for variety of animals and trees. The Trans-Siberian Railway, narrow coastal plains and the natural scenic beauty attract thousands of tourists. Moscow, St. Petersburg, Russia, Alma-Ata, Kazakhstan, Minsk, Belarus, Baku, Azerbaijan, Tbilisi, Georgia, Dushanbe, Tajikistan, Kiev, Ukraine, Bishke, Kyrgyzstan, Kishnev, Moldova, Vilnius, Lithuania, Ashkabad, Turkmenistan, Riga, Latvia, and Tashkent, Uzbekistan are the main cities of this region. To conclude, we may say that Russia as a country in terms of its location, resources, industry and people is just as significant and impressive as its sheer size on this planet.